Hello everyone, and welcome back. In the last episode, Feather Sir promised her sister Moonwitch that she will not tell anyone, anyone at all, about her dove paw and dove paw's real father. That's why this series is called the Heatherstorm Prince Promise. She makes a big promise to her sister to keep Dove Paw and Moonwish's secret a secret. So no one will find out that Dove Paw's father was a Shadow Clan cat. And in the last episode, after stumbling upon on a shiny thing, Featherstorm realized what Moonwish was talking about when she told her. About, about her and Jagged too. Did she accepted the trap cat Tangle as her maid? I love you, Featherstorm. I love you too, Tangle. So, let's grab a drink, and we'll share some pride with Tangle, the blind Tom who Featherstorm chose as her maid, when no other Tom would want her. And then we'll go out on the patrol. Here you go. So. We also got a little shade here, and I'm thinking that because shade looks exactly like my phone just went off. Um, I'm thinking that because shade looks a lot like Pebble Paw and Stone Paw. Um, Stone Paw. They had three. Which one was the third? Um, and Fawn Paw. Fawn Paw is their third. That little shade here is going to be Lily Gaze and Twisted Shadow's second leather. So this will be number two. Their second leather with one cat. With one kit. Just for now. Just for now. Maybe they just had the one. So this little guy or girl is going to need a name. I'm going to quickly go and. Go through my random generator and see if this warrior girl and stuff like that. Alright. So the latest kit is a girl. So now, oh, um, Lily Gaze and Twisted Shadow have had two girls and one boy. Uh, two girls and two boys. And this kit is going to be Echo Kit. And I've already, and I already know a, um, a warrior name for her. And I imagine her being more of a lighter gray color, unlike her siblings. Very light, a, a light a gray tabby. Me in the way. And of course the tabby comes from her father, her twisted shadow. So now Lily Gaze is a queen again, alongside Magpie. Um... And I mentioned this before, but are there any cats in your clan, uh, in the clan that you think should be mates or have a mate? Let me know, and I'll pair them up with somebody who might who might go good together. Like, let's see, Spirit Cloth, Sparrow Flight, Lily Gaze, um. Hug Leap, White Frost, Fix and Pelt, Dove Paw, Dark Flower, Squirrel Paw, Ice Fang, Wave Pool, Moon Wish, Silver Moss, Dawn Paw, Honey Fern, Rose Kid, and Sunflower, all girls. I'll write this down in the comments for you. Um, also, Light Step over here is a girl. And Moss Kit's a little girl. And Firewing's a little girl. And no, Firewing is a boy. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, it's getting late, so I should grab something to eat. And go out on a troll. And we'll take Branch Heart. And Branch Heart's mate is Frog Leaf, by the way. So we'll take the two mates. And we'll take our take Owl Frost as well. And we'll take them on a patrol. Just to check the borders.
And that's a fight that we're not going to get into. I wonder if Featherstorm was alone, so I can just kind of hide and until they're done fighting, and then take the glory later on. Oh, hello. That was quick. Good job, guys. And let's head back to camp. But first, actually, let's do a little bit of hunting. So we brought back something. Even though we did have a border dispute between Shadow Clan. Good job, Alfrost. Did we lose anyone? No, we did really well. That's good. Let's head back. Featherstorm did take a bit of a hit. And we'll actually eat this thrush. After this episode, I'm gonna have to uh, start through all my cats. So I've got a better look at who's who's together and who's not, and who's related and who's not. Thank you, no chestnut paw. And then the chestnut paw, don paw, and tadpole paw are all related. They're siblings, and they are branch heart and frog leaps. Fawn Paw, Pebble Paw, and Stone Paw, as well as Echo Kit, are Lily Geese and Twisted Shadow. Squirrel Paw and Night Paw are Sunflowers, Sunflower and Darkwing. And then Dove Paw is Moonwishes. And soon, I love you for this storm. Oh, and Rose Kit and Goose Kit are Foxtail and Magpies Kits. But, as far as siblings and stuff go, I don't think many of the adult cats are related. Um, I know the Stormclaw and Sunflower are siblings, along with Foxtail. Um, uh, Flintpelt and Frogleaf are siblings. Featherstorm, and Lilygaze, Moonwish, and Darkwing are siblings. And I think that's about it. Oh, someone got a frog. Can I grab that frog? I can't grab that mouse, but I can get this frog. And we'll share this rectangle. There you go. And then, of course, Dark Flower is the four. Her uh, is the mother of the four. Like, her and Barry Star is their father. Um. It's neither green leaf. So in leaf fair I'm probably gonna make Goose Kid, Rose Kid, Moss Kid apprentices. Um let's take Slate Storm, Jump Tail, and let's take Branch Whisker. And Branch Whisker is um Vixen Pelt's mate. And they have sunflower and storm, sunflower, foxtail, and storm, uh, stormclaw. Please, I no, I think never mind. What am I talking about? Just a second. It's vixen pelt and branch whisker had sunflower and stormclaw and foxtail. Or white frost kids again. Oh, 
Plant Pelt, and Frog Leap for her kids. And I think she had one more. I don't remember who, though. Did she have one more kit? Oh! No, she has Sparrow Flight and... Where is the other one? Sparrow Flight and Copper Flame. White Frost has Sparrow Flight and Copper Flame. Okay. Let's go... Let's actually head down to River Clan border. Or we can be attacked. Good job, guys. You know, if I was going to keep killing people. She's going to get herself exiled. Then again, her patrol doesn't really... Her patrol doesn't really say anything when they see her kill somebody. For some reason. They deem it as an accident. Uh oh, we'll see if we can. Oh, hey, Panda Spear is here, so we can change my pelt if I wanted to. Uh, 29. Don't have enough or anything. Soon, though. Now let's head down to the River Clan border. Oh, hello. not. That was, that was a strong... No! Let's not. Let's not. Let's go down this way. Oh, hello. Let's not. Not a shiny thing. Oh god, the shiny thing. And the apple. And then we'll kind of try to sneak back. Because for the storm is low on health. And there's a battle going on down there. Sneak this way. There we go. People are just commenting on my other video, my first, second, etc. Guys, people risk. And we're gonna give Tangler gifts. There you go. Instead of hoarding them like Barry Star did, we're just gonna give them to our main as gifts. Who's probably gonna return to the tribe? With tons and tons of these gifts. And the whole tribe is going to question him. Where he got them. Uh, what time is it? Soon time. It's kind of... Let's grab a feather. And stick it in our nest. Even though it's going to cover Moss Kid a little. Uh... Like right there. That's better. Just to decorate their nest a little, like Barry's darn dark, dark flower's nest. Um, now we just gotta wait for it to get dark, um, darker, so we can sleep. Okay. Looks like White Frost has a mouse. I'll take that. Um, anyone else have any prey? Doesn't look like it. 
thinking that we should get some more. <laughs> My mom just texted me. She said that her gerbil, that she told her gerbil that he was really cute, and he kicked a bunch of shavings at her. Rude. <laughs> My gerbil does that. He likes to kick stuff out of his cage. I think he's sleeping right now. Oh, never mind. He's awake. He's buried under his cake box. Oh, hi. I was just talking about you. Yes. You're really cute. Let's give you a treat. And hopefully you don't kick stuff at me. Here you go. Anyway. Um... We should get some more kids in our plan. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 cats, even though this doesn't look like 47, I might have miscounted. In the clan, we do have an empty nursery other than Sunflower. Here you go. So we can attract some kids into the nursery. And speaking of, let's take Sunflower out for a walk. Kind of do some hunting together. And hope that she... That was close. I was about to say, I hope that she doesn't get killed. Because Darkwing will be really upset. That's another shiny thing. Which is good. I'll hold on to that. Get some birds. Come on, Sunflower. You need to stretch your legs a little and do some hunting. Unless you're just gonna stand there. I'll grab that one. You can get the other one. You're just gonna stand there, Sunflower? Oh, go. Oh, good job. No, nope, that's all right. Actually, since this is the day before, I'm going to leave any prey we get today separate. Because tomorrow I'll have to get rid of all the prey in the prey pile. Actually, maybe Sunflower and Darkwing want to have some more kids. They had two kids. Just uh, night pond squirrel paw. So maybe they'll want some more kids. Don't know. Well, let's put sunflower back. She is injured. And I guess we'll just go out on our own to hunt for now. And see if we can find any cats along the border. But this time just gonna end up like Pistol Claw, I think. She's gonna end up being killed on the borders because she he is she fights. She does nothing but fights. Come on, stop chasing me and go attack each other. Or leave. That works too. And that is a lot of cats. There's one. Cliff claw and cliff pelt. Nope, oh, never mind, there's more than one. Oh! Um. You know what? I'm gonna roll a. like, roll a dice for this. Because it was my fault that she died. 
I kept her in the battle against like four or five cats. So I'm gonna use my little option generator and see if she lives or dies. Featherstorm woke to find herself nestled in a bed of moss. Cobwebs stuck to her white and black pelt. Her body ached, and whenever she tried to move, she felt a stinging pain in her side. You are very lucky, young one. The sweet voice of Honeyfern jolted her, her attention. She didn't know this where she was until she heard Moon Clan's medicine cat speak. What happened? Featherstorm rasped, her voice barely a whisper. You had been fighting like all of Lion Clan against Wind Clan warriors. You were very lucky that Tangle found you, or you would have lost your life. Tangle? Featherstorm suddenly felt the skinny tribe warrior pressed against her side. His blind green eyes closed and was breathing deeply. The blind Tom had saved her life. She owed him her life. Oh, uh, she owed her. She owed him her life, and she would forever be grateful. So, Featherstorm did survive. She survived with some major wounds, but she will live another day. The generator was uh, was kind to her, and it was all thanks to Tangle, her blind tribe mate, that she survived. So she he has some some bad wounds. If she hadn't had gone rescued by Tangle, she would have died. But she'll be better by tomorrow. And she, and the first duty that she will do when she is better is to go out and, and find something special for Honeyfern and Rose Kit, who will soon be Honeyfern's apprentice. So let's wobble our way out of the medicine cat den and talk to Tangle, thanking him, and we'll go into the fresh kill pile and share here's something. To share a scroll with him. There you go. And as the rain pours, Brother Storm will think about what she had done, what she had tried to do. She had, had taken on a bunch of Wind Clan warriors, along with the Shadow Clan cats that were there as well. And she almost lost her life. But thanks to Tangle, the cat that she never thought that she would be able to trust, she is alive and will live another day. Fairy Star and Dark Flower are probably th fretting over her. But we'll crawl off into her den to sleep. And tomorrow is a new day, and we'll try to avoid some fighting for the next little while. So, it is now Leaf Fall. Which means we'll be getting rid of the prey in our fresh kill pile and starting again. And because because of Featherstorm's injuries, we'll try to avoid battling. Speaking of, let's not go away. There we go. And let's put our frog in here. And we'll also be welcoming some new apprentices. Moss Kid is now Moss Paw. But Humble Hood and Silver Moss is only, uh, only daughter. Who will be mentored to? Hmm. Who will be mentored to Snail Shell? And then Fuse Kit. Um. Actually, let's start with Rose Kit. Rose Paw, aka Rose Kit, who had been there watching over Featherstorm as she was injured, who had been worried about the warrior that she looked up to. It was Foxtail and Magpie's only daughter. Decided to become Honeyfern's apprentice, so now she is the medicine cat apprentice. And 
Goose Kit. Goose Kit will be Goose Paw, and will be given Featherstorm for our mentor. Despite her being injured before, she has never had an apprentice, so Barrister thinks it's time that maybe if she had an apprentice, she will settle down, learn patience, and stop being so headstrong and rushing in the battle. So, let's take Goosepaw on our hunting patrol, along with, hmm, let's take Bumblefoot, since Bumblefoot's two kids are now, oh, since Bumblefoot's kid is now a apprentice, take Bumblefoot with us. And for this term, should avoid fighting for a little while. And just do a hunting patrol and try to get, get some prey back. But we'll try not to p open her wounds again. So Bumblefoot and Goosepaw will be doing most of the hunting. And she should also bring... Oh no, we can't be fighting. And she should also find... Again, let's not. She should also be looking for something special to bring to Honeyfern. Ernest, thanks. And something special to give to Tangle as well for rescuing her. Good job, Goosepa. Goosepa's personality is very timid. He is quite skittish. So, for the first little while as an apprentice, he's probably really super paranoid about running into other cats and hunting, so he probably messes up quite a bit and questions his mentor quite, quite a bit. Asking tons and tons of questions to make sure he's doing everything right and that he won't disappoint her and stuff like that. Especially because Featherstorm. Divide fighting four or five cats at once, and is one of the str and is both the lead leader's daughter and one of the stronger warriors in the clan. Good job, Goosepa. The Goosepa is doing really well so far. So I'm hoping to catch a bunny. I want to bring a bunny he to um, Tangle. Because Tangle is from the Tribe of Falling Leaves, which is where Moonchaser is from. No, oh, the Tribe of Falling Feathers, I'm pretty sure it's called. Tribe of Falling Feathers. Which is the tribe that Moonchaser, who appeared to give Barry Star one of his lives, came from. And that might be one of our um, one of our future tribes when I get around to recording some more Sims 3. But we're having zero luck trying to catch this bunny. Oh, good job, Goosepaw. Now we've got the bunny. We'll get that the tangle. Maybe we catch a second one, we can give it the honey burn. Even though I'm kind of looking for something very special to give the honey burn. So let's, on our way back, go and check out the borders. And hope that we can find maybe a shiny thing. Shiny thing. Um. 
Let's eat this thrash. Ooh, and I just barely missed that monster. But now we can get the... No, no, no. Let's not. Let's not. Let's put these two back. Because we can't be fighting. And we'll get the shiny thing, the honey fern. And then we'll give Tangle the rabbit. You go, Tangle. And then we'll put our birds in the first kill pile. Grab a drink, because we're parched. And head off the bed. And we did miss the gathering, but that's okay. Can we? Oh, another mouse. Oh, never mind. We can get that. I'm starting to think of uh, removing. These wall, those two tiles right there. But I'm not quite sure. Uh, more. Oh, Sunflower has a mouse. And Pebble Paw has a bird. Let's get this from the tangle. And. Maybe. Maybe Featherstorm is also not allowed to do some fighting for quite some time because she might be expecting Tangle's kit soon. She'll just randomly suddenly have a kit. But she might. If you do for a kit soon. But it can be, between, be up to five or more days before she has a kit. Um, so let's take Goosepaw. Goosepaw, um, Dark Flower, and Wave Pool. And we'll take them out hunting. And Goosepaw actually does have his, fe his uh, feather already. He got it way before he got his first avian prey. Goosepaws have found it so, uh, shortly after he opened his eyes, which is why he's named Goosepaw. Good job, people. Um, he was given the prefix goose because he had found a goose feather shortly after he was born. Turn when he opened up his eyes, which is, I think, in warrior standards, half a moon. And when they open their eyes. And unlike his sister Rose Kit, he was um because of his skittish personality, he chose not to leave the nursery for a little while. Well he was scared to leave the nursery on his mother's side, even though she would be right there with him. And he needs to leave eventually. He had found a goose feather. And that and even though it wasn't his first avian prey, it was the reason why he is called Goose Kit, and was allowed to keep the feather. Even though his first avian prey wouldn't be for another few mo few moons. Good job, Dark Flower. We've got lots of prey. I think I am going to end the episode here shortly. Oh, there's a frog. I'll cut that as well. There. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. So. Um, I'll see you guys next time.
and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Goodbye.